So uh, we've made huge improvements from the original car. Uh, and uh, well, actually, who, who here, has anyone here, probably some have, bought the, the, the early Model S? Like the, yeah. All right. Well, thank you for your support. Um, so uh, what we've, we, you can see the, the, the huge improvements we've made. So, and it started off with, with good performance, but uh, now with, the, the, with Plaid, we, we've managed to break the, uh, the, the two second barrier, if you will. The, no, no production car has ever uh, done zero to 60 in under two seconds. So, so and, and this is, this is a, a four door car, seats five adults, uh, et cetera, et cetera. It's, it's like, you know. This thing's moving. I mean, this is like what I, what I call like uh, limit of physics engineering. It's not relative. It's like, uh, what does physics say we could do? Because physics is the law, and everything else is a recommendation. <laughs> so, uh, in addition to uh, a crazy performance, uh, it's also got a longer range. Uh, even with the uh, tri motor uh, high performance, it's got almost a 400 mile range. And in the dual motor configuration, it's got a 412 mile range. So. <laughs> 420, give or take. <laughs> so, um, that joke will never end. <laughs> so, and, and we've also improved the super, supercharging speed, so you can uh, get 187 miles of range in 15 minutes. So. Yeah, so the quickest production car, to be clear, of, of any kind ever made, like I said, first to ever break the two-second barrier. Uh, later tonight, you'll get a chance, a chance to uh, drive around the track. And um, like, this is really something you have to feel to believe. Because it hits you, hits you light in the, right in the limbic system. It's like, damn, like, whoa. Yeah. <laughs> it, it, is, it is basically, what is the car that we can, how can we make a spaceship a car, you know? Um, so, hello. <laughs> so, let's see, yep. And then, in terms of additional stats, uh, it's also the the fastest production car to complete a quarter mile, so 9.23 seconds. Uh, it's got a 200 mile an hour top speed, uh, a thousand over a thousand horsepower, almost 400 mile range. Like I said, uh, charges. Uh, so fast, uh, you, you know, it'll be probably done by the time you have a coffee, basically. Um, and talking about some of the sort of uh, details behind it, uh, so uh, we have an, an all new battery pack, um, and then something we're really proud of is the new carbon sleeved rotors for the motor. So this is the first time that uh, there's, a, to the best of our knowledge, there's been a, a production electric motor that has, that has a carbon overwrap rotor. So, um, this is a super hard thing to do because uh, carbon and uh, copper have, uh, you know, have very different rates of thermal expansion. So, in order to do a carbon overwrap rotor, you've got to wind it at extremely high tension. It's a very hard thing to, to do. We actually had to design the machine that makes the, motor, the rotor. So that no such machine ex existed before. It also means we can make, have the electromagnetic field uh, be super efficient uh, and have a tight gap even at super high RPM. And this is, it's single speed from zero to 200 miles an hour. So it's just, it, the RPM is so crazy that just the centripetal force wants to expand the rotor. So the carbon overwrap actually holds the, the rotor, to, <laughs> basically holds the rotor together. <laughs> it's, like, it's like madness. So, um, yeah. So, let's see. In fact, uh, we we're going to show you the motor. In fact, you might have had a chance to see the drive unit. And we can go closer. <laughs> I mean, this is really an amazing work of engineering. Um, yeah. There's, there's just never been a, an, an electric motor like this. I mean, you can pick this motor up with your hands, and, and it can accelerate a two-ton car to 60 miles an hour 
in two seconds. I mean, that kind of power to weight is insane. Yeah. So it, it goes. Uh, we've, we've, it goes up to tw uh, twenty thousand RPM and maybe a little more. So. Yeah, I was just taking a look, close look at it. <laughs> so, let's see. Okay, let's switch back to the slides, I think. So, uh, in it, we also were able to achieve the uh, lowest drag coefficient of any car ever made. So, yeah. So uh, really, I think t Tesla engineering has outdone itself here. Uh, this is a car that looks good, but also gets an, uh, an incredible drag coefficient. And this is, uh, take, this is the, the true drag coefficient of the car, including um, w with wheels in motion. Sometimes you'll hear drag coefficients quoted, but that'll be without the wheels moving. And the wheels cause sort of air churn and incremental drag. And uh, this is the actual drag coefficient of the car. So it's. Uh, to have a good-looking sports car, uh, have that lower drag coefficient is, is really tough. So. We also have the latest uh, and greatest uh, in heat pump, which is the, basically the HVAC system for the car. Uh, it's 30% better cold weather range uh, and requires 50% less energy for cabin heating in freezing conditions. Um, yeah, so it's, you'll see very little degradation in cold weather. Um, and the radiator is uh, twice as big for heat rejection. So you'll be able to actually do back-to-back -back zero to 60s, um, go on the track, just whole ass, and uh, as you'll see tonight, this car is just going to be over and over again, and it doesn't get winded. I think we've got to take this uh, back to maybe the no 